How's it going everyone? I'm going to change the oil in my 2022 Corolla Hybrid and I thought I'd make a video on it because there's not that many out there. So let's get into it. First off, you'll need zero weight 16 advanced fuel economy, uh, full synthetic oil. It takes 4.4 quarts and mine didn't have just a five quart jug, so I had to buy five individuals. So that was kind of annoying, but yeah, that's the uh, oil you need. It's 4.4 worth of filter, by the way. Next thing we're gonna do is take off these four 10 millimeter bolts for the service panel here. And uh, yep, just 10 millimeter. They're just like those self thread making crappy plastic screws. Yep, there's four of them. Once you get all four out, you'll just pull it down towards you and all of the crap from the road will fall out with it. Let's get that out of the way. Okay. Put your screws with it that we don't lose them in the grass. And uh, here is your drain plug front and center. I believe it's a 14, yep, 14 millimeter uh, socket or bolt. And up here is your oil filter. It's the uh, ZZF2, I believe. But it was superseded by the N1. Um, I'll get a picture of that here in a second. Here is the part number for the oil filter. Um, bought mine from a dealer in Texas, actually. I got 10 of them for $3 a piece, so it was a really good deal. So I just bought all 10 because I drive a lot of highway miles and I'm going to have to be doing frequent oil changes. All right, we're going to grab our 14 millimeter. And whoever put that on at the dealership must have been the Hulk because that was very tight. I also went ahead and marked that because I always end up forgetting and it's nice to uh, have that on there. I'm going to put my 14 on my Milwaukee electric ratchet so I don't get oil on my little fingers. Oh, this is pleasant. Uh, okay. Up out here. Hold on a second. All right, we got our socket on our electric ratchet so we don't get messy. And there we have it. That is um about 8,000 miles on this oil change. It's the first one I've done on my own since the Toyota does it every up to 25,000 miles and I'm at 28,000 now. So I just want to do it early. I hate waiting to 10,000 miles. But they were free, so I just let Toyota do it. And I'm gonna wait for that to get done. And make sure you uh, take the cap off, because if you don't, it makes a huge mess. Yep, now we're gonna wait for all four quarts to drain out, and then we'll take the filter off. All right, looks like we're done making the mess, so we're going to wiggle our fingers up in here. And try to get the drain plug started back in the hole, wherever that might be, because I cannot see it. Oh, I am making a mess. This is just delightful. There it is. Got it. And now we are going to snug her up. Give her a little, hold it up at the uh, head of the ratchet. Just, uh, just a nice little snug. Don't need to go too crazy with it. Don't need to put it at 130 foot pounds. Let me give this a little clean up and we're ready to take the filter off. It's right up in there. Okay, so I'm down here fighting with this filter because Toyota Tex put this thing on here with the uh, Fury of God. I'm having a heck of a time getting her back off. Probably gonna have to put a screwdriver through it. We'll see. I hope not. I hate doing that. Oh man. I'm probably gonna have to put a screwdriver in that. That's very annoying. There we go. That's a little bit of something. Oh, my hand was coming off. No. <sighs> Whew. She is on there. So I want to say thank you to, uh, Whoever put this on this tight. 
it's really making me uh, enjoy my time here. There we go. Oh, sweet. Cooking with Crisco. Now, I still can't get that by hand. Wow. Oh, man. Pull the uh, drain up just in case it starts coming out. There's some up there. Wow, that's. That is one there. My goodness gracious. That looks like it's going to run down on everything. Holy crap. There we go. I'll let that do that for a second before it makes a big mess. Oh, man. There we have her. Sweet. Now that's off. Wait for that to finish uh, trickling. Now I'm going to hit that with some brake clean and wipe it all the surfaces off. Then we'll put the new filter on, then we can add some oil to it. Alrighty, we got our new filter. Come down here. We're going to, I just cleaned the, uh, where, there it is. I just cleaned the surface off with my uh, towel and some brake cleaner. I'm gonna get the plastic off of this filter. Maybe, who knows, there we go. And it's nice they already come pre-lubed on the O-ring, so you just, just gonna smear some around, just to make sure. And uh, it's laying down on its side, so it's kind of useless to pre-fill. But if you wanna fill half of it up, but if you feel like you wanna fill the half of it up, then by all means have at it, but I'm not gonna do that. At some point in time, it's gonna catch threads, there we go. Spin her on by hand. Get her snugged up. All I need it just hand tight. Like that. It's just there we go. Perfect. Get my rack. Wipe off the uh housing there. There we have it. And now we're ready to uh add some oil to her. Alright, let's go up to the uh weirdly like sandy dusty engine. Oh wait, 16 is the oil. Take the fill cap off. Set so someone where you'll uh, forget it. Put our funnel in there. And we're gonna say quart of oil. Oh wait, 16. A little hybrid on there. Turn this bad boy up. And let's put 4.4 quarts in our. stick out maybe that'll help it go down a little faster get some air out well that is just thin stuff hope your funnel don't fall over get oil out of the coil packs that'd be that'd be fun Number two. There's like a baffle plate in there that the funnel sits on. Right down there. Makes it hard for it to fill up. Seems to be the issue. There we go. Number three. Oh, 
number four. And the last one, we just need 0.4, so I went a little bit above half. That way we got 0.6-ish left over. We'll just slowly pour this and check it. I drew a little line. Get that to drain a little faster. Beautiful. Perfect. 4.44. Give myself a little note so I know not to get rid of this if I have 0.6 left. So I can use that next time. I'm going to buy four quarts instead of five. Got our funnel on out of there. Put her down. Put the fill cap back on. Put our dip stick back in and she is ready to go. Let's come underneath and check for weeks. Make sure we don't have anything not tight enough or anything so that's dry. The filter housing is dry, so we are good to go. Got our 4.4 quarts in. Now it's time to uh, put this little uh, service tray back up. So you put your tray up here, and you're going to take that little tab, and those tabs, and they just slide underneath. There we go. It holds itself up. Now you can start your four 10 millimeter bolts back in. rough plastic just cut new threads every single time let's put it backwards so it falls down there that's it. When you get crazy, it's just plastic. There you go. Splash tray is up on there. Sweet. Now we can uh, get the car off the ramps and clean that engine bay up. Thanks for watching us and uh, see you next time. All right, now that the uh, oil's been changed, we're gonna go ahead and reset the uh, maintenance interval. Just gonna go ahead and put the car in the on position. Get off that. We're gonna go over in our menu. We're gonna go to the settings. Go ahead and scroll down to vehicle settings. Hold okay. Scheduled maintenance, hold okay. And then we're going to reset data. Yes. Reset complete. And that's all it takes. Now your oil has changed.